is you. I'm so glad it's you. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw this bag, I'm like, oh. please don't tell me she brought a huge bag of rice again. <laughs> Let me get your bag for you. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll get my rice. <laughs> no, it's even better. It's toilet paper. <laughs> so, Melissa, Danny, it's been 20 years since you first appeared on The Real World. So what was it like when they called you back to do this? <laughs> We had phone calls right away. Yes. <laughs> you know, to each other? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. We re reconnected and, um, you know, we broke it down and discussed how it was going to feel. and The pros and cons. And, yeah. you know, yeah. we decided yeah. to stay together and it, do it. It wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> worked through this. Therapy. Did you have hesitations at all? Like, you know, you kind of go in with a plan. Like, if I'm going to do this, we're going to make sure that we do it this, this, and this way. Did you have those thoughts, those conversations? Absolutely. Uh, I think we needed to talk ourselves off a ledge first. Yeah. And then, yes, we definitely strategize as to how we wanted to approach it. Yeah. Yes, but I think once we figured out, okay, we're going to do this, we decided to do this, I think one of the most important parts of coming back and revisiting Real World Homecoming New Orleans specifically is our show at that time was really special. Yeah. It was kind of like a pre-social media age of reality. I mean, can you even remember that time? I mean, you yeah. can because you have it all on tape. I think coming back to it, it was kind of important to like kind of pay homage and respect to yeah. this kind of weird piece of pop culture we're a part of. Do you think they got you right at that point in time? Like when you watch it back, you're like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. I don't think I got me right, so I don't know how <laughs> they could have gotten it right. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was actually one of the scarier parts of going into this is having to watch yourself back yeah. 22 years ago, you know, in, in the rear view of all of this new insight you have in yeah. life. So, like, I feel like I came into the process definitely older, yeah. maybe wiser. Now, let me ask you this. Had, if you'd never done it the first time at this point, would you do it all again? No, really? <laughs> okay, so why? Why do you feel that way? You know what it is? We went on a reality TV show when we were 22 years old. Yeah. I feel like your brain's not even fully developed totally. at that time. <laughs> I agree. Um, knowing what I know now and how permanent that choice is, even though yeah. I was 22, I'm always going to be Melissa from the real world, which yeah. is fine. She's a lovely person. She's great. <laughs> She's um, fun. But, you know, you, I, you ha kind of have to compartmentalize your private life yeah. and your public-facing life. Having said that, I did have a good experience yeah. the first time around given all of the circumstances and I had a great experience the second time. So you're both parents, let me ask you this then. If your kids came to you when the time was right and said, we want to do a reality show, what would you say? I'm going to get my Kris Jenner on and be like, what's the check? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm the check. <laughs> no, no. My daughter's 13, my oldest daughter's 13, I have three daughters, she's 13 and, you know, she did sneakily watch clips of me on the real world prior to me coming so she yeah. has an understanding of it and she also is mortified <laughs> and it's like yeah. why would you ever go on reality tv at that age mom you're crazy so like i feel like i've done a great job in educating my children and making good choices because yeah. they're not interested in being on a reality right. show <laughs> uh, mine actually my six-year-old daughter watched the trailer I was completely tripped out and she asked me, why are you in a movie? Yeah. And then immediately told me that she wants to be a dancer in movies oh. in the future. So I'm, now I'm afraid this is planted a seed. This is planted a seed, for sure. For sure. Well, bring her my way. I'm, I, have, I have good management skills. I'll let, I'll let Melissa manage her. She's Listen, a good hands. You know, you obviously went through this experience. You can give them good advice. I'm sure that you will. I'm sure a lot of people are happy to see you guys back together again, uh, back in New Orleans. So it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. for having us. Yeah.